Hello guys, I'm starting today with the collection framework in the Java, which is one of the powerful topic in the code Java, right? So uh, first we need to understand what is collection framework. Basically collection framework is nothing but it's a collection of interface and classes which is provided by uh, Java collection framework and that will help us to manipulate a group of object. Okay, either we can store or we can uh, uh, manipulate with a bulk of data right so as a part of it we have a lot of classes and interface which we need to study in case of collection framework and uh, it has lot of interface and lot of classes which we'll understand through this diagram right so if you look at this diagram uh, the, the the yellow color we have an interface and the kind of green color I have a wrote a class okay so whatever you are seeing that uh, it's not a green basically yeah, it's a green color so whatever green you are seeing that it's a class and whatever yellow kind of you are seeing that it's a interface so these three interfaces is very important list queue and set okay list queue and set finally these three interface extends collection interface this three interface extends collection interface and collection interface extends iterable interface collection interface extends iterable as we know that one interface extends other interface whereas one class implements interface now these classes array list link list vector these all classes implements list interface all three array list link list vector and a stack basically extends vector and vector uh, implements list interface now in case of queue priority queue will implement queue interface priority queue whereas array dq will implement dq and dq will extend queue okay so dq is the interface so dq will extend queue and array dq will implement queue in case of set what happens is hash set and linked hash set so uh, hash set is a class linked hash set is also a class so these two will implement set interface these two will uh, implement set interface whereas a tree set which basically uh, implements sorted set and sorted set extends set okay so one interface extends others whereas one class implements a interface so this is the hierarchy if you know this diagram okay it's very easy to explain to anyone in the interview and that's what i have written on the top so many interfaces set list queue dqtc and classes array list vector link list parity queue has set linked has set tree set these are the classes and uh, we have one more important topic in this called map so apart from this list queue set we have something called map also right which which will help us to store the key value pair which we'll see going forward like oh like what you have has set linked has set tree set right similarly you have hash map linked hash map tree map just remove the set word it becomes hash map you remove the set here also linked hash map remove the set also set here from also right so it becomes tree map right that we'll see going forward right now what are the method of collection interface right so collection is the interface so interface has some method it has you know lot of method which you can go through one by one it has add method right which is used to add the element in the collection it is used to insert an element in this collection return type is a boolean right it has add all method so name itself says that add everything it is used to insert the specified collection element in the invoking collections which means you have a bulk of data and when you say add all so all the data will get added in one sort okay similarly you have a remove it will remove uh, one data from the collections return type is a boolean remove all it will remove everything return type is a boolean retain all it will retain only the matching element return type boolean size return type integer it will give you the size total number of data present in the collection clear it will clear your collections return type void 
EGMT will check whether a collection has some data or not. A return type is a boolean. Contains, we will check for cert certain object in the collections. Return type is a boolean. Contains all, we will check for entire data present in the collections. Return type is a boolean. Iterator, iterator is the method which will give you return the iterator of the collections. To array, so uh, any collections data we can convert into the array return type is the object of array equals return type is a boolean it will check for matches to collection so if both collection is same so which we will see through coding right so it will return type is a boolean so it's you have one a uh, collections let's say s1 another collections s2 so when you say equals if both is same you will get a boolean has code it will give you the integer data it will give you the integer data of the object right which we will see one by one uh, in the next going forward examples now iterator interface which is very very important why this interface this interface has the three method mainly right if you look at it as a has next next and remove this has a three method which will help us to work on collection classes so when you store the data into collection classes there should be some mechanism through which you can work on the data through which you can iterate over the data so through iterator by using this three method has next next and remove we will work on the list of data which we have in the collection class right so in next video i will talk about array list in the collection framework and with this i am done with the basic introductions of the collection framework thank you guys thank you for watching this